let me show you what's over here. I have removed the seat and look what we have here. Look at the genius behind this. Look, this is the the sound deadening stuff. Yeah, that's the floor. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Guy quit midway or, you know, during the first five minutes, I guess. So the reason why I want to weld the piece of metal from the top, well, there is no paint, or there is a little bit of paint, but it's going to be much easier to clean up, clean this all up. Because underneath you've got that, uh, uh, what do you call that, that, another more soundproofing stuff, which is a, a pain to take out and it's just going to create a mess. So that's a no-no. It's going to peel this, okay, the floor here is good, so, okay, I see why he quit. Because it overlapped the, the frame. The, the, rail, the frame rail here. So from here to here is the frame rail. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to re remove this plastic. Cut a little bit more out. Or maybe not. That's that sound deadening thing. The, the anti-corrosion stuff. See, there's more of it. That's underneath. I'm going to cut this here. As much as I can. Yeah, it looks like I can go even more. Leave this and maybe just grind this off and weld a piece of sheet metal right on top. And then from the bottom, I'm going to just most li likely clean the lip around once it's cut out and just. Uh, do a little bit of welding. Well, weld it all around from underneath. Just a just a, a bit, so no snow water gets in between the new and the old. You know what I mean? The less work, the better. Look at this. This is a, this is a grinder or some kind of a whatever tool to take rust off. What's in there? All right. Let's, let's just pretend we didn't see that. There we go, it's good. No holes there. I may just uh, shoot some paint over here. Clean it up a, a little bit. Spray with some anti-rusting paint, whatever. All right, so gotta remove this vent over here. Pull this away fully, cut this out. Clean a little bit underneath. Yeah, cut out more here. Remove this white plastic. And when I'm ready to weld, uh, we'll, we'll be back.
well you know this area I know it looks like shit but uh, the metal was so thin that it just burned right through I also had the same issue here and that was pretty much it but other than that it's not too bad I'm not even gonna bother grinding it or anything like that so the top is done basically the hard part the nasty part let's see what it looks like underneath look at all this rust this is only me from banging it on the with the hammer on the floor look at all this this is just holy shit wow Oh yeah, some major weight reduction. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. This is actually bad. All right, that just didn't happen. Okay, anyways. Suddenly, I don't feel like welding it from the bottom. I don't know. I'm gonna sleep on it and we'll see. Maybe just the frame rail here. I don't know, we'll see. It's underneath, that's what I don't like about it. But, uh, yeah. Nasty! Still waiting on the bushings. So I can finish that side. I could probably put the wheels back on. The front. And the rear left. Oh, I already did. Almost. Still gotta tighten it. And still gotta cut off the muffler, but that's not gonna be last. All right, guys, I'm gonna clean up and I got another car to work on. We continue with our rusty project. Remember that floor? Well, just sprayed first coat of primer, whatever I, whatever I had. And in this area, you know, cleaned it up, obviously, before, before I sprayed a rust converter. As you can see, it's kind of shiny, waiting on it for to dry. And I can tell you already that it's turning the rust to black primer right here. It's actually working. So I'm going to shoot some more primer on this bare, what used to be bare metal, and probably just one coat of some paint, and call it a day, and uh, still didn't do anything underneath. This is actually, I think, no, still a little tacky. I'm going to spray some color on that white white primer and then wait till tomorrow to spray this i did use some special anti-corrosive rust stopping amazing spray paint i did use 100 percent silicone over here okay silicone or 100 percent silicone does not crack or shrink it's good stuff so now I gotta put the carpet back on, the seat, I probably have to chase these um, holes for the seat. They, were, they weren't even in and they're rusty too. And I'll find some bolts for it, two were missing. Put this all back, just throw it in there, take it for a spin.